Hey, what's up, Rama? Uh, this is Andrew, and I'm going to be walking you through how to use my effects processing unit that I made for this midterm. So, uh, first things first, let's turn on our Easy Deck. Got nothing coming through. But uh, right here I have input handling, which allows me to select where my audio is going to come from. As you can see right now, it's coming in through the built-in microphone, so you can see the VU meter triggering here. I'm going to switch this over to my sound card so that it will now come from my guitar. So if we turn our Easy DAC back on, that is coming directly from my guitar. I'm going to turn that input gain down a little bit. Looks like it was clipping internally. All right, so now I've got my guitar coming in, and I can also adjust the gain if I need to here uh, in case the input level is very quiet. Uh, next up, I just have a basic compressor. It's just a KOMP comp, um, not a big deal. I just have that there in case I have some quieter audio coming in and I just need to give it an extra little boost. I'm not going to be using it today for this demonstration. It's just there for, uh, for future use. Now onto the good stuff here. Uh, today I've only got four effects. Um, I've got a comb filter that is functioning as a flanger, a distortion made by the Tan H tilde, a shimmer, which is the effect that I've spent most of the time on, which is a pitch shifter that then goes into a reverb and loops back on itself, uh, so it kind of just dissipates into the higher frequencies. Uh, next up is I have a modulation unit using the teeth tilde, and then of course I just have the dry outlet. Uh, so I intend to have several other things added to this, including loopers, but for this uh, midterm, uh, this is as far as I was able to get with that. Um, so I do plan on expanding this much further. So let's just walk through and see how this works. Obviously you made this so you know how it works. But first things first, uh, we'll just turn on the output and this is the dry signal right here. So there's all this popping and crackling. I'm not exactly sure where that's coming from, but I think it's because I'm doing a screen recording at the same time as using the effects processing unit. That's my guess. Not sure. So as you know, to turn on the effects, we have to first route our dry signal into them. Uh, so I'm just going to show you these uh, one at a time here. So first we'll hear the comb filter, which it's kind of hard to hear when the distortion's not on, but you'll, you, you might get a sense of it here. <laughs> subtle when the distortion's not on. Um, so we'll turn on the distortion now so you can hear that. And next up is the shimmer. This again is the one I spent the most time on. I'm fairly pleased with it. It needs a little bit more work and it's supposed to have modulators built into it but I haven't added those yet. So this is... Um, so these are all the parameters that can be controlled here. I'm going to turn my high frequency dampening down and add my liveliness and a little extra output. And I also have a cue for the filter, just in case I'm really getting a little weird. So that is the shimmer uh, in a nutshell. Uh, next up is the modulation unit. 
So this just is a teeth tilde and it's got a couple presets here. We've got a vibrato, flanger, a industry standard chorus. I don't totally understand what that means, but it sounds better, I think. some stereo output coming from that. Uh, so we'll leave it on industry standard chorus right now. And now we'll start routing some of these sounds together. So like I said, the distortion going into the comb filter sounds great. So we'll take our distortion, route it into the comb filter, and let our comb, comb filter come out. <laughs> Next up, we can then like route our modulated uh, original single in signal into our distortion. skills. I'm really stoked on this, even though I know for myself this is just the beginning. 
So yeah, thanks again, and I uh, hope you enjoy it.